Welcome to the Windows and Computer channel and uh, just talking about the update to 21H1 for those that uh, are wondering what's happening because I see of course some people saying that they don't see it, some people that do, some people that want to try to install it with the uh, uh, media creation tool. So um, once you're updated of course you are on the uh, latest version of Windows 10. Now um, I just want to say for those that don't see it uh, it's normal and don't worry because uh, there's a lot of people that probably don't see it yet. Microsoft, when they start rolling out an operating system like this, it's, um, you know, even though it's a small update, uh, they don't send it to everybody first. There are some of you that uh, they could be looking at the diagnostics feedback stuff and looking and, and not sure that it's compatible, so they're not pushing it. Some of you just don't see it because they are not um, sending it to you. And that doesn't necessarily mean that it's because you have a problem. Uh, not everybody will actually see it. The best way to install this, honestly, is not to force it, especially with the fact that there's really nothing much in here. So if you're on 20H2 or uh, even version 2004, just wait. Um, and one day, because uh, the best way to do it is go into, you know, update uh, your Windows updates and check out if it shows up in Windows updates. When it does, you're sure that that's fine with your computer. For the rest, uh, a lot of people have been mentioning how long it takes to install. This is a very quick install, honestly, Windows 10. Uh, 21H1 is something that installs very quickly. Um, so, in general, it shouldn't, uh, should be a very fast install on most machines through the Windows updates. Uh, that's important. And um, make sure that you uh, just, uh, you know, wait for it through Windows update. Like I said, it's there's there's no urgent urgency, as we say. And it contains so little things that, you know, who cares if you have it or not for now. Eventually, it will show up, and it will show up, like you see here, with version 21H1, and your build number will be bumped up to 19043. Um, if you're on... Uh, Version 2004, you're at 19041. If you're on October 2020 update, that's the uh, 20H2, you're at 19042. And of course, on 21H1, you're at 19043. And all three versions, the ending is .985. Why? Because it's the same version of Windows pretty much underneath with a few little changes. Um, it's more of a like a service pack for those that have been in Windows 7 and remember the service packs. Uh, it's more like a service bag than anything else. So we're going to, of course, from now on, head towards the next version. That will be a big feature update. And um, we'll be talking about that a little more, and we'll have some more videos about this uh, coming up. So don't see it. Don't worry. It'll eventually be there. It is available for everybody around the world, for those that wonder. It's just that it's not necessarily available to everybody. Microsoft is going slow at first to make sure that nothing bad's going on. And for the feedback noise, for, for what you know, I see in the background noise of, of, of installs, I see very little problems um, with this. People seem to have a, a good update. Uh, some of you have been mentioning it took only a few minutes. Uh, it could take, of course, up to an hour on, on some older machines, but uh, it's, it's a pretty quick thing and um, you'll be moved on but uh, like i said you know don't rush it don't push it this is the best idea is to wait for it to appear magically through windows update uh, and it will at some point if you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching